uh, it's 150 years ago today that the first rugby game was played in Wales. And that was played between the Lampard University, as it was known then, which is part of the UWTS D group now. It's, a, it's an important uh, day for the university, but a very important day also for Wales and the game of rugby in Wales. I'm here as a surviving member of the team that played in 1966 in the Centenary match. Lampeter has an important role to play in, in the development of rugby and more people need to know about that. So yeah, I'm very proud to have been part of that development back in the 60s and uh, it's great to be here again today and, and see this centenary and a half being celebrated. There's a huge difference. A, the, the rules have changed, the methods of playing have changed. Um, the game's faster. Um, so back in the 60s when you had the likes of Barry John and Phil Bennett and all the others playing around with, the, with their dazzling feet. Well, in terms of the university, I think uh, what is important to recognise is that Roland Williams, who was the vice principal here back in the 1850s, 1860s, had seen rugby being played in Cambridge when he was a student there, and um, he either played the game or actually saw a game being played, and he thought it was very important that uh, his students not only develop their academic skills and their spiritual skills, but also their their physical skills in the sense that they looked after their bodies and he encouraged uh, playing games. Uh, the tingle you get, the magic uh, moments you get, and I'm very, very proud to say I was able to play in one and perhaps two or three of the great teams uh, of all time, particularly the uh, Welsh teams of the late 60s and particularly the early 70s. The rugby the boys played, the Gareth Edwards, Gerald, Winners, Dell and the boys, Merv and all that. Uh, it was amazing stuff. To be here this evening, wonderful honour and uh, to receive the fellowship, uh, I feel very, very, very proud indeed. <laughs>